Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. For today's video, I want to talk about what I think the REM Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's brand, line should have been. So I've actually already filmed a few videos today and this was not what I was planning to have go live. I actually already put all my filming equipment away and then I saw the launch photos for her brand and I instantly was like, huh. And I was like, you know what, let's do a video about it. So I've been covering Ariana Grande's brand for a little bit now. I talked about this in a makeup news video a while back where I looked up some of the trademarks and we tried to guess what a few of the products might be based off the names that the line had trademarked. And I've been really intrigued by this because I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan and I cannot emphasize that enough. Throughout this whole video, I'm gonna be kind of critiquing the line, but like I've been an Ari stan since yours truly, like her first studio album. I think she's like truly like one of the most talented humans on the planet, like I adore her. And so I had such high hopes for this line and I really thought it could be like the next rare beauty, Fenty beauty. But with these initial launch photos, I'm, I'm just feeling a little bit let down. So I thought we would chat about it today. If you're new here, my name's Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about cruelty-free beauty. So if you're into this type of content or you just enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and let's hop into my thoughts. So my first kind of disappointment with the brand was when I discovered that they're actually a project within Form of Beauty, which is the uh, brand incubator that owns Morphe. They own Morphe 1, Morphe 2, and I'm pretty sure they also own Jaclyn Beauty. So that in itself, kind of was a bit of a turnoff to me, but that being said, most celebrity brands are started under brand incubators. They're, they're, they don't usually just start on their own, like even Fenty Beauty, that's a Kendo brand. I have a full video about beauty incubators and why we're seeing so many celebrity brands because a lot of them are starting under this model. So I wasn't surprised to see that's how the brand originated, but I was disappointed to see that they're with Form of Beauty. Oh, also, I, like I said, I already filmed another video and I just got the Freck freckle pen. So I tried it. I am, it's still like a trial and error. So if you see those freckles, that's what they are. Now the theme for the line is kind of like space age, which I think is cute. I think it is fitting to Ariana Grande as a person. And I also think that there is this difficult point when it comes to celebrity brands, you have to ask yourself, is the brand going to be themed around the celebrity or is it going to be kind of a standalone brand? And themed around the celebrity is where I would categorize something like Kylie Cosmetics or even KKW. Kylie, I think, is a perfect example though because every single launch like she does a photo shoot for, the brand is her name. Whereas like, let's use Rare Beauty as an example. I would say makeup lovers and Selena Gomez fans know that that is Selena Gomez's line, but Outside of that demographic, anyone just coming into Sephora might think, oh, this is just a makeup brand. Like I even had a friend say recently, oh, I didn't even know that was Selena's brand. So for Ariana's line, I feel like she went somewhere in the middle. She didn't name it like Ariana Beauty. And some of the things like R.E.M., that's one of her songs. And all the promotional photos are of her. So that was kind of my thought process when deciding what I think I would have preferred for the brand. I took that into consideration that it seems like their approach is somewhere in the middle, not fully Ariana focused, but not really like a standalone brand with a separate name. So for me, I don't know that I love the name REM Beauty. And I started thinking what I would name it instead. I think an obvious choice would be like Dangerous Woman, but she has that perfume. Or wait, I'm looking it up. No, the perfume name, she has a few perfumes, but the one I'm thinking of is the God is a Woman perfume. So maybe she doesn't have Dangerous Woman perfume. That could have been a cute name. But what I actually thought of was the name that was the original name of that album, which was going to be Moonlight. And then later on, she changed the album name to Dangerous Woman. But I think Moonlight kind of encompasses what I personally picture for her brand. And when I think of colors, I don't necessarily think of this like new age silver space direction that they went. I picture more pastels. Like I'm even thinking of her last three album covers, especially like Sweetener with the like creamy beige, Thank You Next with the softer purple. And even on Positions, I know it's kind of like black and white, but the that has that mint green undertone. So I'm picturing those three colors together for packaging. And what really surprised me with this launch is that none of the makeup seems like products that she would wear because her makeup style, especially within the last year, 
it's very minimal and it's very matte. So her makeup artist is Ash K. Holmes. She's super talented. She also does like Megan Fox, the Kardashians. And the direction she's been going with Ariana Grande, especially if you've been watching her on The Voice, she's doing a lot of matte makeup, very structured contour. The eyeshadow is very subtle, but there, there aren't these like shimmery iridescent colors to her makeup these days, but that's what most of the products in this new launch are. Which again, I don't think the launch needs to be reflective of her, but it kind of seems like that's the direction they're going, so I'm surprised that this is the first launch. Also, the brand said that they're going to drop different categories in a similar fashion to like a streetwear line. That was what they specifically compared it to. So this first launch is like, eyes and lips and then they'll do another drop and then another drop. But what I would have pictured from the brand is kind of a more simple aesthetic. I'm thinking something kind of like persona meets bite, somewhere in there. Like, let me give an example. This is the Tarte Cream Bronzer. Like this is the type of packaging I would have pictured for them. And here's the thing, they went with something that's that doesn't already exist, which I do like to see. Like even the lipsticks are supposed to be, it's supposed to look like a space shuttle, I don't know. But I just feel like all of the packaging looks so cheap when I would have loved to see more of those pastel tones. Also because two of her albums were upside down, like the photo was upside down. And for so long, a lot of her content, she would like flip things over. I think it would have been so cool to have the name upside down and then like the other things on it right side up so you could tell that it was intentionally upside down. But like just throwing in cute little touches like that. One thing I did really like was the price point because very rarely do you ever see a celebrity brand at like a drugstore to mid-range price point. And this I wouldn't say is drugstore, but it's definitely mid-range. So $24 for the eyeshadow palettes, which blew my mind. The mascara is $15, there's a volumizing and a lengthening. The eyeliner is 19, the liquid eyeshadows are 16. There are eyeshadow toppers, which are 22, kind of getting in a little bit more high end. So that I was really impressed with because I feel like she could easily charge high end prices and people would still be so excited to buy this. Now the line is gonna be available starting on the 12th. I was originally planning to like pick it up and do a video about it. I don't know, I think I still might. Let me know if you would like to see that. Now they say she's going to do some extensions in her line too, which I think would have been really cool to have in the initial launch because that's what she's the most well known for is like her iconic ponytail. So I think that would have made sense to put in this first drop. Also, I really would have liked to see like a really nice matte contour. And that might be in an upcoming drop, but the reason I say that is because her signature style recently, especially starting with like her wedding makeup, was that really harsh contour and like very, very angled contour. And if you've seen like the makeup she's worn recently, even on like The Voice, there's really not much noticeable blush or highlight. Like it's a pretty matte and flat face just with that really structured contour. So I think something like that in the line would have been very complimentary to her own makeup style. Again, not that the line has to be, but I think that would have been a great touch. Obviously her signature eyeliner, which is not as much of her signature look these days, but I was glad that they put eyeliner in that first launch. But when I think of Ariana Grande, I think of like clouds and moons <laughs> and pastels. And this line just felt so far off from what I was expecting, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. And I do think it's kind of cool that they kept it at a drugstore price point, went all in with a the theme, but it definitely left me a little bit underwhelmed when I saw this first drop. That being said, I'm curious what I would think if I saw them in person, because based on the photos, the packaging, it just looks so cheap, but I wonder if I held it, like would it have more weight to it? Would it feel a little bit more luxe? Or does it kind of match that more affordable price point, which again, wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but was just very different from what I was anticipating. With that being said, I still think this is such a huge accomplishment for her and I will have my eye out for whatever the brand launches next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would love to chat it out in the comment section and I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.